I remember a conversation between a young lady and a pastor who were talking on the street. The young lady cried out, why should I worship a God who won't protect me from pain and suffering? To which the pastor responded, everybody suffers. The thing is, because of Jesus, the Christian still has hope while they are suffering. Now, the truth of the matter is, we live in a sinful world and sin corrupts, twists, and mutates everything it touches. You see, you cannot live in a sinful world and avoid suffering. It comes with the territory. At some point, everybody suffers. It doesn't matter if you are righteous or evil. Because of sin, we all suffer. And I think that by now, most people understand that. Now, the lesson asks a great question. What do you do when you are suffering and it feels as if God has abandoned us? I remember a time in my life when I was under a lot of stress and I was sick. Things at work were not going well and it seemed as if everything in my life was just going wrong. So I did the only thing I knew to do. I prayed. And how did God respond? Nothing. And I mean absolutely nothing. I read the Bible and it was flat. You know what I mean? It, it just wasn't speaking to me. I would pray and it felt as if I was just talking to the ceiling. During that time, I felt as if God had abandoned me and I couldn't figure out what I'd done wrong. I felt a little like Job or even David. Job who'd lost his wealth, his health, and his family. Or how about David who was being persecuted by his father-in-law? You know, the king who wanted David dead and he had the power to make it happen. In both cases, neither man had done anything wrong. And when they cried out to God, silence. So there I am, and, and, and God is silent, and I'm wondering, how do you sing the Lord's song when you feel like God's not even listening? Think about it. What are we supposed to do when God is silent? Here's what you do. Keep singing. God might be silent, but that doesn't mean you have to be silent too. The reason the people of God prevailed is because they kept praying, they kept talking, they kept singing, and they kept the conversation going, as if even if it felt one-sided. Now, why did they do that? Because they knew this one thing about God. He will never leave us nor forsake us. The truth is, God can't help himself. Eventually, God always breaks the silence. And when he does, well, it's when it provides the greatest benefit and blessing to us. So the next time you feel like God is silent, that's the time you speak up and you make yourself heard. Keep talking. Keep praying. Keep knowing that God is listening. Do this, and God won't be able to help himself, and he will break the silence. And when he does, it will come when it will bless you the most. Can I ask, what helps you to keep going during the times when the God seems to be silent? Well, that was our nugget for today. Thank you for stopping by. Have a look at your lesson. I'll see you tomorrow.